Who'd have thought that there'd be so much I didn't know about babies? Um, not because I'm an expert, but simply because I didn't realise that it's a minefield out there. You don't need that many muslin cloths. I have thousands of muslin cloths and I don't need them all. Um, yeah, you don't need that many. You need a few, a fair few, but I don't know why I thought I needed 50 muslins. Because quite frankly, you do your washing so regularly, you always have the same muslins on rotation. So really, you probably need maybe 10 to 15 muslins at a max. I honestly have about 50. Baby's clothes sizing is most of the time not correct. I don't understand who comes up with the model of baby's clothes and what fits what age group, but quite frankly, it's always wrong. <laughs> Ellis was born at eight pounds, two ounces, and he fit into baby grows, which said they would only fit six pound babies. What? How does that make sense? Who's coming up with these things? So basically what I'm trying to say is, if you bought a really nice baby grow for a small baby and you're worried you're going to have a big baby, don't worry about it. Your baby will probably fit in there. Who's coming up with these sizes of clothes? Someone please answer me. Is there some sort of like board of directors that comes with baby's clothes and they've got like the perfect baby size that fits in all these clothes perfectly? Because again, Ellis at the minute, he is in three to six months clothes and he's five months at the minute. I can guarantee he'll be in the same clothes he's in until he's seven months old, at least. Who's coming up with the sizes of clothes? I don't understand. Baby poop stains. Oh my God, it stains. I had no idea it would stain. I don't understand what's in baby poo to make it stain, but it stains. If you're pregnant, get some stain remover. I use the um, Astonish brand, which I think works amazingly. Obviously you can get Vanish, you can get Napisan, I think it's called, Napisan. Whatever you do, you need to get some sort of stain remover because I don't understand. Baby poo is lethal. Quite an obvious one, I guess, but if you didn't know, baby clothes and maternity clothes are expensive. Don't waste your money where you can, buy second hand, or if you know someone who has had a baby, ask them for their hand-me-downs. Um, realistically, you don't need to buy brand new stuff. It's expensive and your baby will grow out of it and sometimes they won't even wear it because you might buy things for the wrong season, you might think it's going to be colder than it is and spend £30 on a snowsuit they don't end up wearing. Just be careful about spending your money on baby clothes because I've made the mistake, I bought Ellis shorts um, for the summertime when he was first born. He was born in August, by the time he could fit in the shorts it was November time and Not so much things I didn't know, but just a sort of random tip thrown in there. Film your baby. <laughs> Taking photographs of your baby is great and I highly recommend you do that as well, but just make sure you film them as well because the, video, the videos you capture of them are priceless because now I look back at videos of Ellis when he was a newborn and I'm like, how is he that small? How has his cry changed so much? He doesn't hiccup as much as he used to and the hiccuping videos we've got of him, the, hiccup, the hiccuping videos we've got of him when he was a tiny baby are adorable and yeah, all these little funny noises that he did as a baby, 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 he doesn't do anymore. Now he's six months old and he makes all sorts of different noises which I have to document instead. But yes, do make sure you record them. Sometimes you kind of get lost in the moment and you forget that you need to film them. But just try and remember to record as well as photograph. Breastfeeding can be hard. Uh, this is something I did not know. You know, you think, oh, it's natural. Your body just produces milk. It's what animals do, humans do it. It's easy, you just breastfeed. Nope. Uh, <laughs> It's something that you have to learn and the baby has to learn. And it is a stupid design flaw in the human race that it's so difficult to do. Luckily for me, I found it quite easy to breastfeed. So I'm very grateful that, that I've been able to do it um, without any hiccups. But I know people that have struggled really badly. So I do really recommend that you go to a breastfeeding class before you have the baby. I went to a class called um, 
by the La, La Leche League, um, which was like a donation based class and they taught me how to breastfeed basically and I found it amazing and without them I don't know what I would have done really to be fair. Um, so yeah, I didn't realise that breastfeeding was so difficult. I honestly was like, well surely it's just, you just, you just feed your baby. No, it's not. It's not that simple. I don't understand why. But yeah. Baby's fingernails are lethal. <laughs> oh my God. What they say quite a lot when Ellis was born was that it's mad that babies are born with fingernails and toenails. What are they for? Why do babies need fingernails and toenails? They're not clawing anything. I mean, I'm just, maybe it's something part of like our genetics from when we were like cavemen or whatever. But honestly, they don't need them and they grow so quickly. They are dangerous. The amount of times I've been scratched by his sharp, sharp talons is ridiculous. And the fact of the matter is, is that you can clip them. And oh boy, it's dangerous. <laughs> this, this tiny little fingernail, the smallest you've ever seen, and you've got to try and clip it with this, you know, with scissors or with nail clippers or, oh, it's hard and it's ridiculous. And of course you can file them as well, but that's not easy. And oh my God, something I didn't realize at all was that. I mean, it is ludicrous. Why are you born with fingernails? What's the point? What's the point? Right, and here he is. I think that's it for my random rant about random things I didn't know. This is Ellis, this is the baby. Hello. You can smile? Yeah. You're smiling, who's that baby? He was meant to have a nap. Um, he naps for five minutes in my arms and then woke up immediately and is quite happy. So I can't complain too much. That's my random video of random things I didn't know about Ooh, babies before I had them, them, him. Um, and also a couple of tips thrown in there as well, because, well, why not? I'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye.